Good morning, and now uh, let me also add an official welcome on the side of ESMT uh, to uh, the EC ECGI annual meeting. It's a great privilege to host you here. And basically I will pose the question, which I think is a very classical question in industrial organization, uh, whether these um, uh, links uh, lead to market power in markets or uh, if they have an efficiency uh, effect or an efficiency uh, consideration. Xavier noted in his article that it's early to advance changes in regulation and we could not agree more. Uh, there are many reasons to doubt the real world relevance of these theories and many reasons to pause before entertaining any kind of policy measures. And I think what's important that businesses um, should be aware that competition authorities and even market regulators um, have the issue on their radar. Uh, and I don't think it's going to go away. It's forums like this that are talking about it. Uh, I think that, uh, again, I think it's a function of a change in market structure. This is a proposal before this House that has no limits, no stated rationale, no controls, no procedures, no appeal, no due process. That's exactly how Donald Trump likes things. I don't want to quote Donald Trump, but I'd like to quote another US president who said, speak softly, but carry a big stick. The question is, what sort of stick do you need for these negotiations? The right co-determination is good. The wrong co-determination, which we have in Germany, is bad. Election period, not too long. Whether it's one year or two years, I don't care. Five years is too long. And the decision power to make proposals to the AGM, who should get elected, should not be the board. Don't invite buddies, but this uh, proposal power, if it were, should be with the shareholders. What is it that we can expect AI to do for us? And given the topic of today and given the context of today, I want to show you some of the research that we are doing that raises opportunities for firms, but also raises some issues and some judgments that ultimately management and boards will have to make. Our environment now is fewer, larger shareholders, the likes of Vanguard and BlackRock. Do we need to rethink about what the role of the board is, and indeed what the role of the shareholder is? Should the shareholder have more power or less power, or should management have more power? So I think this sort of research shows uh, the different opportunities and different ways that, that, that this could be done. And what we notice is that board arises when large shareholders coexist with a large base of small and plausibly uninformed shareholders. As for the selection committee, I want to thank them, even though we all recognize they were probably smoking something very strong when they awarded this prize to me. Uh, as to them, I will say, Keep on puffing, guys. 